Hey friends, let's talk more about what the experts are predicting for our economy. If you watch the media and you read all the negative headlines in the news and the social feeds, you're probably extremely worried about the future of our nation. I know that it's a very scary time and the media isn't helping. Fear sells and boosts ratings. So instead of listening to opinions and the doomsdayers, I feel that it's important to look at what the experts are saying and base our decisions built off of that information. Hi, I'm Sabrina Shaw with Homes by Sabrina, brokered by eXp Realty. I always get asked what's happening in the housing market. What's going to happen to our economy and should we be thinking about buying or selling a home right now here in the Tulsa metro area? Well, let's take a look at what's happening on a national level. According to Sam Cater, chief economist of Freddie Mac, and I quote, although the uncertainty of the crisis means forecasts of economic activity are more unclear than usual, we expect that most of the economic damage from the virus will be contained to the first half of the year. Going forward, we should see a recovery starting the second half of 2020. Locally, we're still seeing buyers out in full force and inventory is very low right now. There is competition from buyers on property and they are moving rather quickly. Clearly in the economy, there are a lot of unknowns right now, which obviously can add to our anxiety and stress. But if we look at what we do know, that can help us again make more accurate decisions about buying or selling a home in the Tulsa metro area. We know that this year started strong. However, due to what's going on, we are in high unemployment rates right now and we know that the Fed is doing what they can to help. The good news is that we are in a record low interest rate environment, which leads people to wanting to buy because they have more purchasing power and affordability is great. Also, more good news is that equity amongst homeowners is robust. According to John Burns Consulting, 42.1% of homeowners own their home free and clear, meaning there are no mortgages on their homes. 16.6% .6 of Americans have between 60 and 99% equity in their homes, and only 7.3% of Americans have less than 10% equity in their homes. This is very different than back in 2008 when many people used their homes as ATMs. That isn't happening right now. Homeowners seem to have learned their lesson as 58.7% of all Americans have at least 60% equity, which will help offset a housing crisis. And this is good news for Oklahomans and really all Americans. Also, rents continue to go up, and we've seen an upward tick in rents since 1988, and they're still continuing to rise. This again promotes buyers wanting to purchase as they don't get the tax advantages and other benefits of home ownership. Also, more good news is that in the first few months of the year, showing rates, which shows us how many homes that are for sale are being showed, the showing rates continue to increase until around the week of March 8th when showings took a huge dive as many states had to shelter in place and were not allowed to show homes. However, since the week of April 12th, we're seeing that showing rates of homes is starting to significantly increase as the shelter in place restrictions are being lifted and easing up. So buyers are still out there. And in fact, according to Daniel Hale, chief economist at realtor.com, mortgage application data shows that home buyers are back in greater numbers than this time last year. And historically low mortgage rates are a key motivator for buyers to return to the market right now. More buyers means more opportunities for potential sellers and it definitely isn't all doom and gloom. DM me to find out why the summer is a great time to buy or sell a home. And please feel free to reach out to us anytime here at Homes by Sabrina, your local digital community market leader, to ask questions or if you just need some advice about what to do in regards to buying or selling your home in Tulsa County or Creek County, as we are always here to help. And remember, everyone should love where they live.